Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good summer, staying safe, staying healthy as we go through this pandemic. Had a very exciting summer. I took some trips to the beach. I love the photograph piers. And today, we're going to talk about the stylized filter and all the filter options it has. We have the diffuse, we have the emboss, extrude, fine edges, oil paint, solid tiles, trace, contour, and wind. This is the final product, but I'm going to show you what I did. First thing I want to do is make a copy. Do a screen. And I want to convert to a smart object. I want to make many copies. So basically, I want to go to the filter and I want to go to the stylize. And I just want to do, let's do emboss. So this is what the emboss looks like. It's great for like making the edges really stand out. Good adjustments. I'm gonna bring contrast. That's where I just did adjustment layer. As soon as I wanna bring it out, make it dark. I mean, blood modes are worth experimenting. And then if I come over here, and then what I do is I do control G, puts it in a group. And then I just do an, you know, emboss. So what I did was all, all of them are in groups. So we're starting with the regular file. This is in a group. This is using the trace contour, which is you know, stylize trace contour. Then what I did was I used the multiply blend mode. Maybe I could try different blend modes. Then do it the effect you like. And this is with the extrude. So use it the filter, stylize. I get my layer. Extrude. So I'm going to bring up the prompt. Make the adjustments. And I just have normal blend mode, but I could you know experiment. And I'm just using, you know, a blend mode, but this time I use a blend mode, a normal blend mode on adjustment layer.
This is just a, the boss. We got the turn it into a smart object, but so many ways to use blend modes. And then back to the base image, but this one uses the oil paints. So it's the filter stylized oil paint. And I just use a normal blend mode, but I could use other blend modes. I like normal better, but it's always worth experimenting. Look at exclusion. Look at hard mix. And adjust the contrast. Just move the midtone slider. Again, using the trace contour. Multiply. And oil paint, it's all in a group. Normal, but suppose I want to make it dark. This is the wind where the wind it's stylized. Make sure on the smart object layer. That's wind. This guy should use the you know normal blend mode, but you know. Adjust the contrast with the mid-tone slider. This uses a Solaris where it's a filter, you know, stylized. Solarize, some people call it Solaris, I misread it, but Solarize. He's in a dark and blood mode. So I like using lumosity. Find edges. where you know just brings out the edges of a photograph really well. Multiply. I like to use emboss and if I want to make a change,
or use multiply to bring out the detail more, but the same with other blend modes. Just the normal blend mode. If I could change this blend mode to darken. The effect I like. And this is tiles, you know where I suppose I just to change it to 30 and we're tiles of 30 offset 30 but I like it better with the bigger tiles so do control or command Z Maybe I could use another blend mode to get the effect I like. I'm going to go back to my unfinished product. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to filter, make sure you have the layer selected, smart object selected. I try to find edges. I'm trying to find the edges. I'm trying to bring out the edges. We're not done. You just change the whole nature of a photograph with filters. And then I do Control G. And I'm going to try another stylized filter. Using the filter extrude. Do one more. I'll try Crash Contour. Yeah. So this is a cool way to create a photograph in black where you really get out the edges. You play around the levels. I'm trying to get, bring out the subject with the lines. And I'm just experiment with the properties. Bring up adjustments, levels adjustments.
I'm going to try to multiply color burn. Look at exclusion. Nice, make a piece look really nightish look. Using exclusion blood mode. It makes sense to, you know, to name your name your groups. Yeah, I'm gonna do extrude. Various contour. The book at group. I'm duplicating this group because I liked it. But what I want to do What I think I did is I made a copy of this group. Same group, but I just changed. Same idea. But I just changed the blend mode and multiply. Well, that's it for, you know, the stylized edges of con stylized. And there's, you could do a lot with the fuse, emboss, intrude, fine edges, oil paints, solarized tiles, trace contour, and wind. I'll do one more and I'll wrap it up. Convert the smart object. The oil paint. I make something cool. Try to just do something funky with the water. Okay, 
That concludes the discussion on how to use the stylized filters. It's in the filters stylize. This is Mike Pucciarelli, creator of Still Life Photography, Mike Pucciarelli. If you're interested in videos like this and on Still Life, I ask that you maybe like and subscribe. So there's many more videos like this in Photoshop, you know, light painting, equipment, Adobe software, the white flex table, the black flex table. Thank you for listening.